Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you can create an image backup of your entire uh, computer, your Windows Drive, and then also how to restore it using a free program called Macrium Reflect 8 Free. They have uh, several different other versions um, with, you know, obviously advanced features. And this one is meant only be, to be used at home, not for commercial usage if you plan on uh, doing this at work. So once you download and install the software, uh, we could run it here. So I actually have it installed already. And while I was installing it, I did the uh, install VI boot instead of v instant VM booting of, of Macroom backup. So if you want to uh, have your image backup and then boot it into a virtual machine, like in VirtualBox, I did that just in case I want to try it later. So it's up to you. You don't have to do this. But if you're playing with VirtualBox or other uh, virtualization software, you might want to try this in case you want to try and export your VM into your virtualization environment. Okay, so we're going to open the uh, program here. Okay, so on this computer, I have the C drive with Windows and all my programs, and I have this backup drive, and I already have one image from my previous image that I made. You can make multiple images, and you could schedule them. So if you want to have a weekly back image backup, as long as you have the room and somewhere to put it, you know, outside your C drive, then you could go ahead and do that. Okay. So the option we want to choose is to image selected disk on this computer. You could create an image of the partitions required to backup and restore Windows, or create a folder and file backup if you wanted to do individual files and folders. But we want to do an image backup, so we're going to choose this option here. Okay, so it wants to know the source, which is this guy here. So you got to make sure you pick the right one. So this is the backup drive, so we're going to pick that. And since we're doing Windows, we want to choose all the partitions here, you know, because you're going to have these other kind of hidden partitions in Windows. So you want to make sure you check them all here. And then for the backup location, we were going to use that E drive here. It has this one on here already, so we'll just add to it. And then you can give it a name. Let's say... Uh, Eleven backup, and then obviously you could do it to a CD or DVD burner as well if you want. Okay, so we're gonna click on next. So now here's a template for your backup. So if you want to do schedules or grandfather, father, son, differentials, incrementals, all this other good stuff. So if you don't know what this kind of stuff is, you might want to research it to see you know what each type is. So that way your backup images could, you know, could just make backups of changes or you could do the full backups and have multiple full backups. And, you know, like you could see here, and then you could do the retention rules, how many full backups, how many differential backups you keep, and so on. But we're just going to do a single backup, so we're going to leave this as none, so this stuff here won't apply. So we're going to click Next. Okay, so here's our kind of summary here. I'm going to kind of give that a little... Browse here. So here's our four partitions here. Okay, we're going to click on Finish. Okay, so now you could save this backup definition file if you want to use this kind of template later on. But we're just going to leave that unchecked because we're just doing this one time. And then run this backup now. So we're going to run the backup. So backup started. So it's creating the snapshot here, and then once it does a snapshot, it'll start doing the process here. Now, of course, we'll pause the video. That way you don't have to watch the process here because it will take some time since it's backing up the entire computer here. And, of course, if you have a lot of programs and files, it's going to take even longer. This is just a, a new computer that I configured just for testing here. Okay, so we'll pause the video and be back when it's done. Okay, so the image completed successfully. Uh, it took 12 and a half minutes. Okay, so we could close this out. Now if we look on our drive here, so here's our Win11 backup file that we just made, about the same size. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some stuff to the desktop here just to see what happens when we restore it. I'll change the wallpaper as well.
Okay, so now we're going to do the restore, and after we restore, this wallpaper should be the one it was before, and then these three items here should be gone. So to do that, we're going to click on the restore, and browse for an image or backup file to restore. So we're going to go back to our D drive here, our E drive. So the Win 11. Okay, so here's the uh, breakdown of the file here. And here's the Win file name right here. So we just need to select the one we want to do, which is the only one here. And then click on Restore. Okay, so now here's the source, the E drive. Here's the next destination, our C drive, our original C Windows drive here. So it's going to restore these four partitions over these four partitions in the image here. So it's going to erase everything. So we're going to click on Next. You could do Verify Image Before Restore if you want to do that, which you probably should. Since this is just a test computer, I don't really care. and I'm not going to take the extra time, but you might want to check this one here to make sure your image is okay. Okay, then it gives you the summary here. The four partitions it's going to do. You have some advanced options. If you want to go through and check these out. So if you don't want to replace your master boot record, you could go here and then change some shutdown modes after it completes. Okay, so we're going to click on finish. Okay, so now you get this message. Build a rescue media boot menu. The restore must be completed in the Windows PE rescue environment. Do you want to build the rescue media and add boot menu now to automatically restore? You got to click yes to this. Okay, now you're going to get this message here. The following drive is in use and the restore cannot continue because it's locked drive because you're running Windows and you can't restore your image over your current Windows system partition if you're actually using it running Windows. So you got to check this option here for automatic boot and after restore, reboot, you know, or you could have it just shut down or not set. So you want to need to run from the Windows PE environment to restore this uh, image here. So you just click on run from Windows PE and then restart now and then the computer is going to restart into the Windows recovery environment here and then you'll be able to uh, continue with the image restore. Okay, automatic restore is about to start. So once again, it's going to have to go through this whole procedure here, so we'll pause it and then be back when it's done. Okay, so it's complete, so now the PC will reboot. Okay, let's log in and see what we got. Okay, so you can see we have our old desktop wallpaper background back, and those three files are gone, so the image has worked. And then if we go to our uh, drive here, you can see we still have our two background images. So the current one and the one test one that I did before. So like I said, you could run this and you could schedule these image backups to run however often you want. Um, and that way you could have multiple copies in case you make a lot of changes and you might need to restore back to another one. Or, you know, better yet, you might want to just, you know, do this as a bi-monthly or monthly backup just to have an image in case something goes bad. And then you can go back and uh, restore it. Just keep in mind, this image is only going to be as good as the date you restore you created it, so if you've done anything afterwards that you need to save, then it's going to be lost. So just, you might want to make sure you do regular backups of your files too. So we might do a video on how to do the uh, file backup using the software as well. But for now, here's how you do uh, image backups and then also how you restore them. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.